Hi, everybody. This is back to the Halloween Psychic Fair, and I'm your host, Ed, and we're going to talk to another one of our great psychics who are coming on board. I'm so excited about this. This is Stephanie Leon Neal, author of The Discovery Tarot Path, a book that has just recently come out. And uh, so, hi, Stephanie. How's it going? Fine. How are you, Ed? Good. And um, so, you, you love tarot. I know that. You're a longtime scholar. Can you tell us a little bit about your tarot background? Sure. Um, essentially, I first learned tarot by my uh, mother-in-law in 1971. And as she taught me, she told me that the main, the main things to always consider is the seeker in front of you and that they're there in front of you for very good reasons. They could be uh, just for comfort or maybe confirmation, or they had a serious um, decision to make at the time. And many people will in fact come to a tarot reader for uh, sometimes even life changing decisions. And so respect and value um, the person, the human being in front of you. And I've always held that close and recognized that truly is wisdom. And so I try to do my card readings in that way. And so basically I have taught the tarot, I guess maybe for 25 years or maybe, a, a, yeah, I would a circa, you know, 25 years uh, and I most each time I teach I come up with new approaches to teach the tarot because I recognize that there's many ways people learn just basically just learning that they have just different ways to learn that's just the way everyone is so I always try to keep that in mind as I come up with new approaches and maybe uh, some approaches that aren't so new, but I try to maybe develop them in a little, a little different slant. And then the other times I absolutely have, uh, well, as my husband always says, that you're always, you always have your nose in a book studying the tarot uh, almost every day of your life. And that's because I truly enjoy studying the older decks and uh, getting lots of great ideas and, and new interpretations and new insights that as I look back into history, uh, just to see the changes and uh, the evolution of not only the cards, but uh, humanity. And especially now, look what we're going through now. We are truly going through a giant leap in humanity. Uh, so yes, I, I do love uh, studying the older decks, yet I absolutely uh, enjoy the current decks too. I have a pretty large collection of tarot decks, so mm -hmm. I uh, have a, a nice, I think, balanced, uh, balanced collection, and yet I always return to the writer deck because that's where I started with my mother-in-law, Margaret Neal. And I will base everything on that. And uh, yeah, so that's... That's wonderful. And for everyone who understands, HalloweenPsychicFair.com is an online psychic fair in which we're going to have classes, we're going to do some broadcasting, as well as giving you great readings from readers who would essentially be out there working the field this year. And unfortunately, because of the quarantine, they have now not been able to do that so we're going to give them the opportunity and at the same time we're going to hopefully raise some money for some of the charitable acts of helping people with food and seed over the next year um because we're all facing this together and we can also help solve the problem together and you did that so let's talk a little bit about your book you have a great book um and uh do you have a copy of it i sure do you know go out there you can go to her website uh stephanieleonneal.com and you can buy this. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your book? All right. This book is 
just what I was just talking about, a, an approach, another way to look at studying the tarot. And what I discovered that if you focus in on the symbols and you recognize that there are many symbols throughout um, the deck that are similar or, or the same, uh, it opens up a whole new world of how to read the deck mm -hmm. relating to those sets of symbols. So that's the very general uh, way to explain uh, the main method that this, that this uh, book talks about. That's terrific. And, uh, and so this year, so you're going to be teaching classes during this, which you can get, that you can take your classes. We're going to have a class packed pass, so you can buy just one ticket and take all the classes for it. Um, everything but the intensive. We have a few intensives too, but class pack. Or you can buy individual classes. We're going to make that available to everybody. And Stephanie here has, has agreed to be doing teaching some of those classes. Yes. Uh, what I'm hoping to put together is, uh, well, I want to talk about the, the main uh, essential components of a tarot reading. Mm-hmm. So by the time the person is finished with one class, they will have at least uh, one way to dive deep into interpret interpreting the cards immediately. If you listen to other classes, the same will happen. So by the time a quarant or seeker is sitting uh, in, in front of you uh, via Zoom, uh, or any way that you will read for um, a quarant is that you will have so much information on how to look at each card that you will never look at that card and say, huh, the king is just sitting on the throne. I get nothing here. Or that you just go blank. We'll never go blank again because I'll make sure that you are fully equipped with many ways to approach that single card so that you can truly give lots and lots of reasons why that particular thing is happening happening to that person or uh, suggestions or seeing uh, the whys of it, it happening. Um, breaking up the question, uh, are they really asking what they're really wanting to know? All that's revealed. And uh, some quick topics I'm thinking of, uh, like this, the psychic thought development, mm -hmm. uh, spreads and approaches. Now, just those two subjects uh, will, will be, uh, I think, enlightening for many people that maybe haven't uh, tried other approaches. Maybe they've mm -hmm. only tried one approach and maybe it worked wonderfully for them, but knowing that but there's other approaches out there, maybe you might want to try your hand at other approaches and you might, it might turn out that you really enjoy that. And uh, so that would be possibly the, the third workshop, which is interpretation of approaches. And um, then I want to cover just one solid workshop talking about the professional uh, reading process. In other, in other words, becoming a pro so that you are truly uh, confident because you're going to meet all kinds of wonderful personalities. And so the tarot does not just fit one size. The tarot, in fact, is developed to fit every size. The tarot is developed to to recognize uh, the, the individuality of each person. So there's that. So just with those four, uh, it, they, the workshop should be pretty action packed. I know um, we've already had some of our, some of your students are actually coming on board to become some of the readers too. And they've oh. spoken well of you already on that. Oh. So this will be a great insight into that sort of thing. 
And so I, I'm going to ask them the question. So when you read, are you using intuition? Are you using spirit? Or you use, is there a combination? I would say co a, a combination. To, I mean, really. Especially in the beginning when you are entering into the process mm -hmm. that you're re relying on on um, your past studies, your, what you already know. And then as you move through the process, something shifts. And as that shifting is with that, that what comes into the intuition, the psychic thought, uh, that kicks in. And, uh, and of course, spirit is behind everything anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, spirit is our, everyone's foundation. And psychic thought is found in everyone. So I'm not trying to avoid to try to pick one, but I, yeah, I think every single um, concept that you just uh, presented there is, in fact, included. Absolutely, and we all and and I personally, uh, when I talk about it a lot, I'm a very intuitive reader. Um, but I, I love so I love Halloween. So people have been asking the sort of question is that this is going to be a great month, the whole month of Halloween, and this year's Halloween ends up in a full moon and we're gonna have, and on here on halloweenpsychicfair.com we're gonna be presenting a witch's ball online we're gonna have a lot of performers so that you can be in your house and we can have kind of a, a halloween witch's ball as well yes because everybody's been asking about that but, but what they've been asking so you're also going to do some readings uh during the fair you can actually get books to do some readings with you yes i uh I hope to do many uh, throughout the entire month. Uh, this is definitely an exciting way to uh, spend time with people, mm -hmm. um, help, hopefully helping them or just confirming some things that they already know. But mm -hmm. Just yet an, another opportunity, like everyone, to, to spend time with, with wonderful, uh, delightful people. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And, and I think that we're, we're going to present that and everything else. And so class is going to be up on HalloweenPsychicFair.com. You can see it at HalloweenPsychics.com. Yes, we take, we got that one too. You can go ahead and, and see uh, Stephanie's um, icon. You can see her page. And more importantly, if you want to get over her book today and get ready for this whole thing, you can find it at StephanieLeonNeal.com. Is that correct? That's correct. And so you can do that. Well, and... Um, so there we go. So happy Halloween, everybody. We hope you guys will join us and we'll have a lot of fun. And uh, I'll be back with another episode of our Halloween Psychic. So you get to know them. And Stephanie is uh, really one of the great readers. Book her today for readings in October. And thank you, everybody. And uh, enjoy the holidays. It's coming fast.